Welcome back to LabVIEW Basics. I'm Sam Kristoff from LabVIEW Maker Hub, and in this section we'll talk about for loops. For loops are a structure in LabVIEW that let you execute a portion of code over and over again until a certain number of executions have been complete. So let's jump into LabVIEW and see how for loops work. From the Getting Started window, I'll press Ctrl N to create a new VI and maximize the block diagram. Then I'll right click to bring up the functions palette and pin it in place. In the programming section, I'll click Structures and then select For Loop, and you'll notice my cursor changes to a little box. Then I'll left click and drag to draw my For Loop. In the bottom left, we can see the iteration count, just like a while loop. This terminal tells us how many times our loop is executed. I'll right click on that and choose Create Indicator, and that creates an indicator for our iteration count. In the upper left is our loop count. I'm gonna right click on that terminal and create a control. This control will determine how many times our loop executes. Now I'll switch to the front panel and I'll enter 10 into that control and then I'll run the VI. Now we'll notice that the output is nine. We asked our loop to execute 10 times, but the output is only nine. So just like the while loop, the iteration terminal on a for loop starts at zero. First zero, then one, then two, and so on. So 10 executions will give us the values zero through nine. Now, unlike a while loop, it's possible for a for loop to not execute at all. If we change our loop count to zero and run our VI, you'll notice the numeric indicator doesn't update. That's because the code inside our for loop, that numeric indicator, is not running. Let's add some timing to our loop so we can see it in action. I'll switch back to the block diagram and press control space to bring up quick drop and then type wait. So I can choose the wait millisecond and I'll place a one second delay inside my for loop. I'll switch back to the front panel and change our loop count to 10 and then press run. And we can see that now the for loop runs and it takes one second per iteration and it'll count up from zero to nine. So just like while loops, the LabVIEW compiler will distribute parallel for loops across multiple CPU cores if possible. This makes developing multi-threaded applications really easy. In the next section, we'll talk about passing data into and out of loops. Make sure to check out labviewmakerhub.com for more tutorials and projects, and ask any questions you have on the MakerHub forums at labviewmakerhub.com forums.